Are you upgrading yourself in terms of any knowledge that you are acquiring? Are you upgrading yourself in the current uh, knowledge of mathematics and physics that you are doing? Well, it sounds very weird, right? What is meant by upgrading? And what I am going to do is that in this video, I am going to give you a little bit idea about what is uh, meant by upgrading yourself and why you should upgrade and what is the importance of upgrade. So please watch this video for those who really want to stay uh, with the flow of the current market scenario as well as uh, make yourself quite upgraded and updated in terms of getting jobs ahead. My name is Shonak and you are watching this video on my channel Physics for Students. What do I mean by upgrading yourself? If you are doing a math or a physics grad, uh, I mean to say you all know right what is uh, thermodynamics, what is mathematics, what is calculus etc. But what do I mean by upgrading your, upgrading the skill? Okay. So see what happens recently is that my visit, I, I went to Bangalore, I told that I was amongst the committee where there were a lot of interviews which are being taken. Uh, what happens is that when you are going through a kind of a study, for example, whatever, you are undergoing a bachelor's in physics or a bachelor's in mathematics or you are upgrading yourself as into masters or you are undergoing an, um, I would say, an, um, kind of an um, qualification for engineering also. So uh, what will happen is that you will see that uh, apart from the age-old conventional uh, study, I mean to say, for example, you are studying mathematics, you are studying calculus, for example, or even say, for example, geometry. Now what happens is that you will see that there are a lot of things which uh, are currently changing with the current change. Now you will see, you will say me that is the product rule changed? Has the law of entropy changed? But no, I am not saying of that. The law of entropy or the law of thermodynamics or the Boltzmann constant never changes. But what changes is the current market scenario of thermodynamics. Okay, let me give you an example. If you go to my LinkedIn profile, I am in the same name as Shanagbi, you will find there is a lady called Najme Khajoi. Uh, I think she is from uh, Iran, I think so. And she is doing a, a study in differential um, equations in mathematics she is already a, a masters and she is in good touch with me so you know when it comes to differential equation okay what do i mean is it the same differential equation now what happens you see that differential equation has taken a long way i mean to say it has gone a long way since today uh, i would say uh, these people are najme for example and others you can check it in my profile are doing further researches in differential equations right Okay, so what do I mean by upgrading yourself in mathematics is to be aware with the current trend. Be aware with the current, I would say, uh, current market scenario. Okay, if it is differential equation, what is going on in differential equation in the current market? Let us try to find it out. What is going on with the recent trends? I mean to say, has people invented something using the same calculus? Okay, this part goes with the mathematics. So upgrading yourself means, for example, number one is that you know the current market trend that what new inventions in mathematics have come. Now you will say me that what will I do with these new inventions? Will I be asked a question? Yes. Uh, I, I think it is morally uh, important uh, within our heart that we as mathematics and physics people should always keep in touch with the current uh, market scenario with the current market things which are moving that is upgrading yourself for example uh, professor andrew wiles provided approved the firma's last theorem to what is called modular form now being a maths graduate you will say well, i really don't know need to know yes you need to know uh, you should be responsible morally responsible to know about the new trends of mathematics now if i ask you okay you tell me what use modular form you won't be able to do, right? I'm not saying that you do a thesis or a doctorate in modular form, but at least let us know what is modular form, right? This is maybe one example. Now, say, for example, the recent Nobel Prize with Allen Aspect and Zeilinger, they got. What was that? Okay, we know that it is something called quantum entanglement because nowadays there are a lot of things, you know, which is going in quantum entanglement, okay? What was the Nobel Prize that Roger Penrose got? We all know it is black hole singularity. But what is actually that? 
I mean to say, let us not go into mathematics. At least let us know what technology uh, Andre Rez and uh, Zai, uh, you know Roger Penrose has proved in order to find the galaxy, which is uh, sorry, the black hole which is in the Milky Way. So point number one is that do we really know the current trend of mathematics? I mean to say researches which are going on. Okay, let me give you some examples of websites here. You can see on the screen that uh, there are a few uh, websites which you should be aware about. ScienceAlert.com. Uh, you can go also to this website. So all these websites, actually, what they do, uh, and Quantum Magazine magazine is my favorite website, and these people are doing a fabulous job, fabulous job. They're going to those people, they're taking interviews, and they're giving a free of cost. Isn't it wonderful? So uh, I mean to say, for example, Fields Medal. Okay, are you aware, aware about who are the Indians who got the Fields Medal? What are the areas that they have worked? For example, Akshay Venkatesh. I don't remember other person's name. So what are, who are the Indians who got the Fields Medal? These are the people. And which technology or which branch of mathematics they're doing? These are the branch of mathematics. So you see what happens is that, I will be very honest with you, when you start speaking to people, when you start talking to people, you speak more intelligently. Uh, people will say, okay, so he is not only a physics or a maths grad, but he also, or he or she also knows a lot about those things. So I would say go into newspapers, go into websites, talk to your people, and most importantly, get surrounded with people who are aware about these things. You know, I am very favorite um, um, listener of this lady called Shade Zarai, and she told uh, in a YouTube shorts a wonderful thing. You know what she told? She told that get around with people who are creating a positive influence in your mind and remove those who are got negative influence. Anyway, so get around those people, create a network in LinkedIn or otherwise where you will find people of similar interest who really are aware, who really wants to know much more about mathematics, not only as their textbook, not only passing through their exam, but what is going around in the world. This is one. Second thing, you can do the same thing with physics. There are a lot of websites. And I am uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say that, uh, yes, I know there are a few people who would agree with those, but most of the people, they really don't uh, are aware about what are those things. Physics and mathematics, what are the things going around? Okay. Next thing, what I would like to tell is that it is not only going around with the news or your, uh, um, 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 or what is going around the world. It is also spending a little bit money and getting a certificate. You know, I feel bad that I really don't have the time or maybe I am uh, too busy or whatever be the reason. I am not upgrading myself in terms of certificate. There are a lot of, I won't say online courses, but there are a lot of good courses, maybe a workshop. Maybe you can take three days time out of your busy schedule or even you can submit online assignments. But please, please do get hold of some good certificates. A certificate in applied mathematics, a certificate in deep learning, a certificate in artificial intelligence, a workshop in anything. But please go through that. Especially in India, I am talking about those papers and certificates really, really carry a meaning. Whatever awareness you have, whatever mathematics you know, whatever good or passionate you are about your subject, you won't be considered uh, important in this industry until and unless you have got a paper, until and unless you have got a certificate. I'm sorry to say this is not true in uh, states or other, but this is true hard fact of India. You need to have a certificate. You need to have a proper paper. So apart from your bachelor's and master's and doctorate, whatever you're doing, I think that getting small certificates, spending, uh, spending around five, seven, ten thousand rupees, I think that's good um, that you can always do. But yes, but look into it that if it is something which is relevant to you. Now you are specializing in thermodynamics and you're doing a, a paper in astrophysics that won't be important. So th these are the two important things that I wanted to share with you that please do get hold of the, please do be aware about what is going on because it is not only your moral responsibility, you will start yourself feeling good and you will see that in your career, when you're talking to the recruiters uh, over the interview, you will feel yourself great because you will 
indulge into a discussion possibly your interviewee even doesn't know you can make your hr or the principal of that school educate that see boss you don't know okay let me tell you this has happened recently let me tell you this has happened recently who are the people who get fields medal i'm not saying general knowledge don't confuse it that what is the age limit of getting a fields medal do you know okay i know i won't answer you if you do have the answer please let me know on the comment box so that's it i won't uh, make the video too long but uh, i would say first in physics and mathematics be aware learn read through those and second simple get hold of any good certificate but look into there are a lot of fake universities these days look into some of the certificates look into some of the educational uh, you know i would say uh, programs which can give you a leverage a kind of assistance because without a paperwork you won't do so that's it for today's video i would really recommend and i feel um, that i am i i should have told those things over the video you should do and you should upgrade yourself in mathematics and physics not only by doing or reading get hold of a decent good certificate other than your bachelor side by side on the interview board if you have got a bachelor's that person also got a bachelor's what extra you know one you are very much aware about the things which are happening around in the world of mathematics and physics and second you can show two or three more papers which that person doesn't have so don't you think you will get a greater advantage in your career let me know what do you think in the comment box thank you for watching this video thank you for watching this video we appreciate your time and patience if you want to connect with us and provide further feedback comment or suggestions please email us at contact.physicsforstudents@gmail.com you can also follow us on facebook instagram and linkedin See you soon in the next video.